Hello loyal fans and YouTube viewers, UberGuy here, coming to you with the ACR <clears throat> of my gold series. Um, it actually took me a while to get most of these gameplays, unfortunately. Believe it or not, it was actually easier for me to get, you know, M1, M16, G36. But these guns, I don't know, I'm having a problem getting the like, fucking gameplays, or adequate gameplays, it seemed to be. Um, so in the first part here, of course, I started out a little campy, sound horn, a couple of these guys here. Um, ACR, I'll just say it now, is the most overused gun in this game. Now, I understand that the gun is jack of all trades um it it has no flaws basically it's it's it, it's sort of like the in-between gun it's doesn't have a decent fire rate but it's acceptable it doesn't have a lot of recoil but it's acceptable you know it, it's just in that bracket where it's the perfect type of gun for any scenario indoor situation which is why i think a lot of people use this gun um what what getting a random ass text message right sorry about that but uh all i'm starting to see now is mp7s and acrs i guess that's what i'm trying to say um it's getting a little boring guys the the community is getting a little bit ruined by these two guns <clears throat> i wish it was i wish it was a little bit more diverse as far as where they give you a little bit more selective uh, gun choice. Maybe if they incorporate all the guns from the COD series and just throw them all into fucking one game, then people wouldn't primarily just use two guns out of the 30 guns that they could use. And I'm, I'm just saying, the most used gun in this whole series would either be the ACR, MP7, uh, what else do we have, and maybe the MSR for snipers that's it those are the most three popular guns i guarantee if you look at anybody's class setup out of all their classes if they have the guns un unlocked on, on course they have either the acr the mp7 or the fucking msr and i'm guilty of all three although i just recently took off my mp7 class i feel the mp7 the mp7 is inferior to like the, the pp9 m1 or like the p90 or even in my opinion with rapid fire the uh, ump I don't technically like using the better gun all the time but if sometimes if people go try hard and they're pissing me off enough yeah you know I don't have no problem breaking out fucking mp7 with the uh, Kimbo FMG 9s uh, yeah I mean I have that type of a class because I know how people play this game you know not saying I do that too often i'm just saying i can do that when i want to do it um as you guys know by far from this game but just looking at the gameplay i was trying to get uh, a very high kdr in uh free for all my kdr in free for all was a 2.25 and then i started quick scoping to get my clips and then it dropped down to a 1.92 now i believe it's at like a 1.9 steady that's my kdr in free for all now, see, a lot of people play free for all, but they'll camp and then they'll wait for all their fucking kill streaks just to reap all the kills. I necessarily don't like playing free for all like that, only because it's crap and it's boring. This game, they give you a gun for a reason, people. They give you a gun so you can fucking run around and shoot people with the gun. Not run around to get five kills and let all your fucking kill streaks do the work. I mean,. It's fun at times, and sometimes you do need kill streaks, but that's more basically for TDM and fucking domination game types. Because let's say if a team has one area and they're deep and you can't push them out, then that's when you need a counter UAV, UAV, or predator missile in order to push the game into your favor. That's that's how people should use kill streaks, or that's why kill streaks were developed. But unfortunately, the, the developers didn't take into consideration the fucking kids or just everybody in general who hates to lose it's proven nobody likes to lose but somebody has to lose in order for somebody to win which brings me back to a good point i was 
uh, trying to uh, establish not too long ago. Now, for the kids who have, and you know who you are, for the kids who have like a 3.0 and higher KDR, let's just throw a shot in the dark here. There is no way in hell you could get that high of a KDR by doing what I'm doing now. It's impossible. I've proved it. I've, it I, I want you to come to me legit and say you have a fucking 3.0 KDR running around, not using kill streaks, just gun on gun. I will call you a fucking god among gods because it's impossible. There's way too many variables that goes into that. I'll get into that during another commentary. But as quick as I started it, this match is over. I think I only died maybe twice, if not once. I, I was going to try hard on the kids just so I could get a decent gameplay for you guys. But rate, comment, subscribe. Uber guy goes 30 and 1. Later.